Welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to get the Google Play Store on your Amazon Fire HD tablet. It's actually a pretty simple and straightforward process. I just went through the steps, and as you can see, I now have the Play Store on my home screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on it just to show you that it's the exact Android Google Play Store that you're used to on your Android device, and it gets you access to a lot of other applications that you wouldn't otherwise have on your Amazon tablet. So to walk you through this process first, just to open up your Silk browser on your tablet. And then in Bing search, type in something like Google Play on Amazon Fire HD tablet and scroll down. And I did the how to from howtogeek.com. So go ahead and launch that link and it's going to take us over to this page. And then we're going to scroll down to the instructions here. So step one is we're going to need to go to settings and then security and then enable apps from unknown sources. So grab the top of your screen and scroll down and then click the little gear in the upper right hand corner. And then go down to where it says security and privacy and click on that. And then right under advanced, it says apps from unknown sources. And you're going to want to make sure that that's toggled to the on position. This is because we're going to be downloading stuff from the Internet. So we have to make sure that it allows us to do that. So once we have those all ready to go in the bottom right hand corner, you see the little square. Just go ahead and click on that and find your Silk browser and launch it again. All right, so now we're back on our Silk browser and we need to download these four files, all of them APKs. And I just went through this process again. It was very straightforward and easy. So one by one, go through and install these. You can see the images here in this guide where it says download the APK. I'll run through the examples here. So the first link, you have to install them in this particular order as well from first to fourth and scroll down to where it says download APK and click on that and then it's gonna ask you are you sure you want to do this it might be a malicious file it isn't so you can go ahead and click continue and then it's going to download that file so once you're done downloading it you can exit out of the tab that you just opened and then go to the second link and do the same thing you can either download this apk file or you can scroll down and find a more recent version. It's not going to matter. I did some of them where I found newer ones and a couple of these. I just did the one that was recommended and even having a different combination of files, it still worked for me in the end. But again, just go ahead and click that download option and then exit out of that tab when you're done with the download. And then Either click the first link if you don't have an HD tablet, but if you do have an HD tablet like I do, then click the uh, this version and it's going to again take you over to the next page where you can go ahead and download the APK or you can scroll down to find a more recent version again. Based on my experience, it didn't matter whether I downloaded the outdated one or the more up to date version. Oops, exited out of there. So we'll get back real quick. All right, so now we were on the fourth option and that's the Google Play Store APK. So again, click on that and then go down to where it says download APK and go through the download process there. And then once you're done downloading those four files, you're almost there, we're on the home stretch. So we're going to next find the option that says documents. It should be on your home page. So on the bottom of the screen where you see that little circle, go ahead and tap that. And then on your home page here, find where it says docs. For me, that's in the bottom left hand corner area. So I'm going to click that. And then the four files that you just downloaded, you have to install them in the order from first to fourth. So you can see at what time you downloaded each file. So that should help you know which one came first. And you're just going to go ahead and click on each file individually. And I've already installed them, but you're going to scroll down to the bottom and click install and then finish the installation process for each of those four files. And after you install those four files, go back to the home page. And if you scroll down in this region down here, that's where your Google Play application icon should show up. I dragged mine to the top of the screen here so you can see that I launched it and it took a little bit while for it to get going. 
and figuring everything out. But once it was finally ready to go, it had me log into my Google account. And then after that, it was really simple. I was able to access the Google Play Store and all the apps that come with it. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, guys. I'll link the web page I used in this video down in the video description if you want to access it there. Subscribe for more, and I hope to see you guys back here for future videos.